Now that you know how dynamic headphones work, you'll understand this next concept in a jiffy. There are two types of headphones. There are closed back headphones and open back headphones. There's also a semi-open back too, but it's like the redheaded stepchild and you won't come across many of those. So what is an open back headphone? What's a closed back? And what's the difference between the two? On the left, I have an open back headphone. And on the right, I have a closed back headphone. Can you spot the difference? It's pretty easy, right? I love simple terminology. Now let's picture something quickly. Since the diaphragm of a driver moves in both directions, not only does it push air towards your ear, but it also pulls it away. Open back headphones have, well, an open back or ear cup. Since both sides are open, air can pass through more freely. Now, songs typically sound larger, more natural, and more spacious than on closed back headphones. The sound is more, uh, how do I describe it? For lack of a better term, more open. Uh, let's picture it this way. Have you ever been to a concert? Open back headphones are much better at reproducing the spacious sound stage that makes you feel like you're there. That does come at a cost though. Since headphones are open, air doesn't just go out, but it also comes in. So with open back headphones, everyone will hear your music and you'll hear everyone on top of your music. So open back headphones are typically only to be used at home in a quiet environment where there's not too much disruption coming into the headphones to ruin your track. On the other hand, closed back headphones are usually designed to isolate and that's the more common approach. Most cheaper headphones are closed back. Now with closed back headphones, you can hop onto the train and listen to your music without hearing everything around you. And nobody next to you will figure out you're listening to Justin Bieber, which will most likely save you a lot of uh, very imminent embarrassment. The trade-off, air is locked between your eardrum and the ear cup of your headphone. Typically, and, and keep in mind that this isn't always the case, but typically closed back headphones sound less spacious. They take you out of the concert hall and put you into a small room, so to say. It's more in your head than kind of in a room. This video is a series and consists of several different parts. Select the video that you'd like to watch and click on the corresponding annotation. If you're on a mobile device, you'll be unable to click the annotations and thus the links to the other videos are provided in the video description below.